Hey everyone, welcome back to Belmont Boy. Today we are playing Layers of Fear, which is a scary game. It's the first scary game I've played for the channel. And normally I don't handle these super well. Uh, so I'm excited to see how this goes. Really, I am. Um, I really don't know anything about this game. Well, that's not true. I know some things. I know it's about paintings, and I know it's scary. But beyond that, this is pretty much all I got. Um, I know how you must feel. Do you? Lost. So I don't usually play these kinds of games. Because I'm a big baby. You probably deserve it. Mm. But even for you, there is still a way. A way even for me, huh? Back. Okay. It's an appropriately One ambiguous intro. Truly desired. That guy sounds very Finish chipper. It. For the, uh, the, his lines are kind of for, but every portrait is painted with a feeling that is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Picture of Dorian Gray. I read that book in high school. Okay, here we go. Well, that field of view is very close. That's okay. Um, all right, oh, what a nice picture that is. That looks strange, like the anatomy of that, doesn't it? Like his head is a little bit too small. That's all right. I couldn't paint a better one. Nice. So I just start in, this looks like the foyer to some, oh, it's one of these. It's like an amnesia. I can click and hold. Okay, can I play this with a controller? I'd almost rather play this with the controller. Let's see what happens if I grab my controller. Yeah, okay, I can. All right, I like that better. Um, okay. What's my interact? There we go. All right, very amnesia so far. Open up some nice uh, cabinet. I don't like this already. I'm already very nervous. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. Um, saying some mean things about his mom, her mom. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation. Uh, please treat this letter as a final warning or else the next envelope you receive will be from our lawyers. Alright, so whoever owns this house is ornery at best. What's this? Oh, that feels weird. Um, okay. I guess we'll just do some exploring, huh? Uh, Longdale Avenue. Mulligan. To Pop Gill. Okay. So it's a dog collar, I think. How do I put it down? There we go. This is a... Uh... Oh, it's pretty, at the very least. Graphics are pretty good, right? That's probably a bad thing in a game like this, because it'll make the scary things even more terrifying. What do we got in here? A jump? No? Yes? Okay. The controls feel a little strange to me, like a little bit sluggish almost, I guess? I've never really been used to, um, like, acceleration, like, control look acceleration. It's very strange. Paint. Rose Doré. Burnt Umber Sienna. Brushes, etc. This is a shopping list. Booze. 5, 10, 30, as in that's how many, that's how many units of booze I'm supposed to pick up. Whoever the painter is, is an alcoholic then. That's maybe going to be relevant. You got a scale, some nice food, paint a still life, paprika, some sugar. It's a fairly well stocked kitchen, right? Better stocked than mine, that's for sure. And some tomatoes that look like they're all strangely melded together. That's weird. What am I doing here? Who am I? So many questions. Very dark room that I don't know if I have any way to illuminate. I feel like as of no now, I do not. That's okay. Oh, that... Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like wine. So unless there was blood in that bottle, I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's wine. For my own sanity. Okay, this isn't that bad so far. This is a nice house. I'd be happy to have this house. This is a door. Here's a note. 
Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. Brought them back to your office. Okay, so I take it I can't open this. All right. Gotta find the office. How about here? Whoa. Uh, nope, not yet. How about we do that later? Because I don't like that. Uh, I'm gonna open these drawers. Wow, there's quite a lot of interactability here. Can't interact with anything in here. Gotta love the attention to detail, though. All right. Some drawers, some... What are those, tablecloths? Ah, God. Okay. Paintbrushes, a bunch of other stuff. I really need, like, a lantern or something. Another door. It's so dark, I can't see anything. Are there controls? Maybe I do have, like, a lantern. Oh, God. Jesus, that's a messed up picture to have as the most prominent thing on your stairwell. Oi. What sort of window makes that? Oh, it's the skylight. I was gonna say, that was an odd, circular... Uh, what's the opposite of casting a shadow? Casting light? I don't know what you'd call that. Hmm. This is a nice place. I wouldn't mind living here at all, assuming that it's not haunted or whatever the hell. Play the piano a little bit? Yeah. It's my jam. Oh, God! Oh, okay. <sighs> so it begins. That's what I said. I'm very easily star- Ah, God! <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> Why am I subjecting myself to this? This is not the sort of game I normally play. Um, look at that lens flare. Never really been a huge fan of lens flare in first person games. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Although I appreciate the attempt to add some atmosphere. Sometimes it works. Who knows? Whatever. Wah. Oi. What is that? A lamp? A bottle? A decanter of some sort? Got a. Yee. Little red riding hood, huh? How do I. Oh, here we go. Yikes. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Are those out of order? Or is that the grandmother? Wow. Jesus, dude. This is a very graphic interpretation of that Little Red Riding Hood story. Alright, now that we did that. What is that small marker? Oh, it's just like a insignia on the center of the... Wow, that's a big key. What does this say? I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. Tonight, it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. That is. That seems like two people having a conversation on the same piece of paper. And the second person is not happy, I don't think. Haha. -ha. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your mind? I know you're going through some hard times, that's why I agreed to let you do those illustrations. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task, because I expect Little Red Riding Hood to be something you could draw in your sleep. What I didn't even expect is this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. Oh. Love it. Man, this guy is uh, not doing super well, it seems. Maybe he's going through a tough time in his relationship, if that... There we go. If that note is any indication. Let's see. Well, these fires are lit, so that makes me think that someone's been here recently, which now that I kind of say that out loud, I'm much more uncomfortable than I was a moment ago. Um, okay, I can't move that, can't open that. Alright, well, we got the key. Let's go down there and unlock that door, I guess. You know what, let's do a little bit more exploring up here first. I think there's still a couple other doors. Uh, uh, ah, what is that? It's a ball. Uh, what is that sound? That's locked. Okay. It is. It's a basketball. What era does this take place in? Has anything been dated yet? Is this a small child's room? Oh, wow. This is very atmospheric. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. 
Let's see. Got a nice little love seat over here. Some creepy ass dolls on the wall. Of course there are. Ah, that bloom. Some rain on the windows. Let's see what's in the drawers. Oh, is this a drawing I can look at? Looks like uh, daddy, daughter, and mommy, perhaps? Although mommy is definitely a little stranger looking. Hmm. Hmm. A crib. So, huh, that's nice. Oh, I can rotate stuff. It's gonna be important to remember. I haven't really rotated anything yet. Hopefully I haven't missed any important details. What do we got? A key of some sort? No, just a mirror. Ah. Oh, here we go. Can I crouch? Oh, I can zoom in on stuff. Don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, can I lean like an amnesia? No? This is a nice house. Why is it that these Victorian settings always lend themselves to these horror stories? It's probably studies or something done on that. Some sort of weird psychological attribution we make to this era. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Jeez, do you have to write it like that? Hmm. Oh. Alright. Somehow that makes me more unnerved than I was before. Ah! On or off, buddy. Pick one. Some clothes. Weird chanting. Uh, uh, open. Ah, oh, God! Ah. Oh. Okay. Wow. This is, a uh, not healthy. I don't think that volume of liquor. And especially not in your bedroom cabinet. That's a strange place to hold that. I think my controller is running out of battery. Hmm. Let's see. A broken mirror. That's always a good sign. And those are not real-time reflections, because I don't show up in them. Or I'm a vampire, one of the two. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. Aye. Waited opening the Galactic department store, yada yada yada. Majority of visitors managed to reach the emergency exits. Fortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, leaving no chance to escape. At least a dozen people have been severely injured. Yikes. There's no date. The date is cut off. I mean, the typography of the newspaper makes it seem at least a little bit old-fashioned, and also the... Wow, it looks really good, doesn't it? Huh. Weird. Can I open this up? No. Okay. Oh, there's a note over there. Let's check it out. Ooh. I can examine the cane, huh? Can I zoom in on it? These uh, objects and these kind of picture-in-picture -picture things don't appear to be aliased. Or anti-aliased, rather. They are aliased. Hmm. Don't see anything important there. But we'll remember that's there, just in case it ends up being important later. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The legs been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. So whoever wrote that owns that cane, presumably. It's uh, not something I've heard many stories of people with leg injuries suffering from them during the night while they attempt to sleep, and that sounds awful to me. I have a lot of sympathy for anyone who has to deal with something like that. Um, I don't know if that's wine. Uh, I'm kind of okay with that being locked. We'll come back here later. Um, all right, downstairs we go. Let's check out the workshop, I guess. Ugh, I hate this painting. Alright, anything else obvious for us to grab before we go in this room that I really don't want to go into? Read that already. Oh, okay. Door open. Is that a clock? Is that someone ringing the doorbell? That's a clock. Wait, did we go in that room? I don't think so. Ugh. There's a bathroom. 
I don't think we did go in here. Ah, that's much better. So there's electricity. Um, I'm not super up on my technology eras, but that would have to put us sometime in at least the mid-1800s, I want to say. Maybe even early 1900s. We got some nice towels. Got some nice other things that I can't really make out. Oh. Flush the toilet. Nope. No, uh... No water, it seems. I can hear water, though. This is on. Let's turn that off. Hey, look at that. It even drains. It's kind of a weird effect, but I appreciate it. No me. So I'm still not convinced I'm not a vampire. Those sconces look nice. What do we got? Anything here? Anything there? A note. Achilles prosthetics. Oh, so maybe I'm missing a leg. A oh, below-knee prosthesis. At least below the knee I am. Hmm. Weird. A very dirty bathtub. This house is way too nice for that. Oh, it looks to be about that time, so we're gonna check out the workshop next time on Belmont Boy.